Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you want to learn how to make a simple intro like this one on Filmora Wondershare, then keep watching. Okay, so we're starting in Pink Monkey. If you're not hip to Pink Monkey by now, you need to because it's amazing. So we're going to start by making our own background. And I'm going to custom size to 1280 by 720. If you want to get a background go ahead and just adjust it to 1280 by 720 so I'm gonna make my own and you're just gonna quickly see me do that um, yeah purple is life you're gonna quickly find that out if you are new to my channel purple is life that's what I'm gonna say so I'm just gonna quickly go through and find the exact shade that I want which is like this gray toned purple. After that, you can do whatever you want. You can put overlays, you can put text on it, you can put a frame on it. I'm going to textures and I'm going to apply some textures. Um, to do whatever you want. I kind of want a space theme. None of this was playing, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. So I'm just playing around, wanting a space theme, and trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. So you're just going to watch me quickly do that. I'm going to play with the fade. I'm going to play with the saturation. I don't think I played with the saturation. I'm going to play with the um, blend mode. And yeah, we'll see what you guys will see what I come up with. Once you make a background that you're happy with, go ahead and save it, and we're going to open it up in Filmora, of course. Okay, so we're going to take our background, import it, and drag it down onto the first track, and I suggest intros no longer than 10 seconds. Intros get really old really fast, so I don't really suggest long intros. Um, so 10 seconds to me is a good amount of time. You can even do shorter than 10 seconds. So right here I'm just showing you, um, if you click on text, flash credit, there's so many different types of text you can pick. And I'm just going to use basic text and animate it, but I'm just showing you quickly that you can do so much stuff with this editing software. So this is the one I decided to pick. I'm going to bring that down to the text track and I'm going to edit it. So when you right click and hit edit or select it and press the pencil up in the upper bar um, that's the only way you can edit that's the only way you can move that's the only way you can um, change the text change the font size all of that is when you edit this dialog comes up so you can edit everything so I am just going to move my text around change my text since it's an intro I'm going to use my channel name which is Miss A. Marie and you can go ahead and change the font size, change the font. I always use Alex Brush for my channel name and my blog head blog header. So if you're wondering, it's Alex Brush. And that's on defont.com. So I'm just changing the size and then there's a so many presets, so I'm just showing you some presets, but I'm going to customize my font myself based off of one of the presets you're going to see. I just took one of the presets and tweaked it to how I wanted it. So we're going to click customize. You can have regular fill or gradient fill, and you can emboss, you can glow, you can 
blur, but I'm just going to leave it flat black. After that, you can do your border if you want a border. And I'm going to make it a gradient border from like hot pink to baby blue to go with the background. And I'm going to change around the gradient because you can change the direction of the gradient. And I'm going to make my border thicker. And I don't know, I don't know if I blurred, I don't think I blurred it. If I did, I only blurred it a little bit. And I kept the opacity, I think, all the way up. And then I'm going to tweak my shadow, and I just left it black, and I just tweaked it a little bit. So at this point, I am animating my text. So I'm just going through picking which one I want. If you pick the text that's already animated, you can turn off the animation and change it to a different animation. If you're wondering, and yeah, so I'm just going to pick one, and you're going to watch me pick and move around my text because just because you have your text placed in one spot does that mean does not mean it lands there with that animation so you're gonna see me having to move my text down because the animation I want brings it up higher so I have to move my text down lower till it finally gets to the middle After that, you're done, and you can just add any little things like overlays and textures, anything like that. You don't have to do this, but I'm adding overlays just to animate it a little bit to make it look better. So I'm using bokeh, if that's how you pronounce it. There's so many different bokehs, and I'm just picking one. I'm going to turn the alpha down, which is basically turning down the brightness because they're bright. And then I'm also going to add a lens flare when my text moves down so it's like a flash of light so you're gonna see me quickly do that and then we're gonna add music and we're done so everything after the text point is completely just up to your creative discretion I guess and at the end you can go ahead and add a transition I use the kaleidoscope because I didn't want to use a traditional just fade to black so just use any transition you want. The very last thing you can do is add your music. You can add it first if you want your text to go along with your music. And I'm just going to pick some stock music that's already here. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play the final product for you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests, let me know down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.